And scammers who could be skimming your money with a device you'll be hard pressed to even notice. But we're looking closely tonight at a case attracting police attention on the Treasure Coast. Our Elizabeth Harrington is part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, and she's live in Stewart to explain. Elizabeth? Stewart Police and Bank of America are now reviewing records at this ATM. Today, a man tried to use his debit card here, but he had some trouble, and that's when he noticed something unusual and called police. It stands out along Route 1 in Monterey Road in Stewart. This ATM in the middle of a shopping center with easy access to traffic. It's very convenient. I live right around the corner. Stewart police say a lot of people use it. Maybe two or three times a month. But today, a man had trouble getting his card in the slot. After several attempts, he found out why. A device fell off the front the face of the ATM machine, and this is a different scanner that was to read the credit card numbers. So we had a credit card reader on top of a credit card reader. It's known as a skimmer. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I've heard about it. A device that reads and stores card numbers, but that's not all police found. And then you have this other device which is attached to the monitor and it just blended in. It's custom made with a camera right over the keypad to get your pen. I think that is very, very, very scary that you don't even know that and you're using your card. The culprit could be anywhere. Could be required, uh, acquired remotely. It could be someone in the parking lot of a laptop computer. Stewart police contacted Bank of America. So far, no one has reported any problems with their account. But identity thieves have been known to use your personal information days or even weeks after it's stolen. Police aren't sure how long that skimmer was attached to this ATM. Now, if you did use this machine, make sure you review your bank account carefully. Live in Stewart, Elizabeth Harrington, WPTV News Channel 5. There are some easy steps you can take to make sure you don't become a victim of skimming at an ATM. Our consumer watchdog, Jen Strathman, with five of the things you can do to keep your money safe. Thieves like to use skimmers because it's a quick way for them to get cash. In fact, Bankbreak.com estimates companies are losing nearly a billion dollars a year to this crime. So here are some ways that you can protect yourself. When you come to the ATM, look around. Look for anything that's unusual, as the victim did in this case. Secondly, use ATMs that you're familiar with. In this case, a bank is something that you would notice something odd or different. Try to avoid ATMs that you might see at the grocery store, a restaurant, or a random kiosk. Third, check your balance frequently, and if you notice anything odd, make sure you report it within two days. And when you come here to the keypad to punch in your password, use your hand to cover it up, just in case a thief has a camera there to try to capture it. And fifth, here's the last tip, something for you to consider. This is something that I do. I don't use a debit card. I think there's just too much fraud and too many ways for thieves to get into your bank account and wipe you out. I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman, fighting for you.